have a dog. I, everybody here's probably hand is going to go up. All right, so 64% uh, of Americans have a pet, and most of those are dogs and cats. So that's over 100 million homes in the United States have pets. Does that surprise anybody? No, we love our pets. Um, in fact, the pet industry is one of the only industries uh, in the country that hasn't suffered due to the economy. And believe it or not, um, the APPA, American Pet Products Association, did a survey and people were asked what they're cutting back on um, because of the economy. And people are actually cutting back on uh, purchasing things for themselves and their children, but they are not cutting back on purchasing things for their pets. Believe it or not, the pet industry is thriving, as Absolutely. as you would know, because we love our pets so much that we just couldn't we, we just couldn't bear to think that we would uh, buy a cheaper dog food or not buy that bed or not buy that toy. We love our animals, but the one thing that that is frustrating is people who go out and buy a puppy and they haven't done their homework or their research on that particular breed. So does anybody have a breed of dog in their home that they that they now that they have it feel like maybe that was the wrong breed for them? Oh, nobody's going to admit it. Oh, this guy. Oh, my husband's raising his hand. I have an English bulldog, too, so I know exactly what you're talking about. That's exactly right. So just like with dogs and all kinds of exotic, you know, other exotic animals or any other pet that you bring into your home, you want to do research. Certain dog breeds are predisposed to, to being good with children. If you want a dog that's going to alert you, if intruders come into your home, you want to look into a different uh, kind of a breed. And a lot of people that live in townhomes or small apartments get a small dog. That's not necessarily always the best decision. Small dogs have higher metabolisms, they have higher energy levels, so they need a bigger area. When realistically, in a small apartment or a townhome, you might get a dog like a, a boxer or a mastiff that actually has a lower level of energy that doesn't need to be running around all the time. So you really want to consider your family dynamics. Is anybody in your family allergic to dog dander or, pet, or cat dander? Um, you know, don't want to exclude cats either. Um, because dogs can make a wonderful, fascinating companions. Dogs really are, I think, one of the best pets to have in your home. But you want to make sure before you get a dog that you do your homework, you do your research. You never want to buy from a puppy mill. Does everybody know what puppy mills are? Yes? No? Okay. P puppy mill is, is kind of a place where they just breed dogs and they're not properly caring for the breeders. So you want to make sure you do your homework if you're going to buy a purebred dog. You want to make sure that you research the breeder. You make sure that it's a responsible breeder. And you want to look at that specific breed. Some breeds are predisposed to cancer or other hip injuries or back injuries. And if you feel like your family can't financially afford a $5,000 hip surgery when the dog is eight years old, which most of us can't, you want to make sure you do a little bit of research and believe or not, mixed breed dogs have the least amount of uh, health incidences. They're actually the most healthy dogs, mixed breed. So visit a local shelter or rescue. Uh, my boxer and my miniature pincher were both rescue dogs. Um, and you can get actually a purebred dog at a shelter. Uh, they really make wonderful, wonderful animals. All right.